All right, so our first question is by Steve Place. Were you inspired by somebody in your robot design, or was it all you guys? Our robot design for the hydrodynamic season was inspired by Team Mind Factory in their trash truck season. As you can see, our robot had a lot in common with their robot. It had the same type of connections for the attachments and a similar design. Prem Pencar asks, how long has your team been doing FLL and which year is your favorite? Our team has been doing FLL for three years. We competed in the seasons Trash Trek, Animal Allies, and Hydrodynamics. Of the three years, Hydrodynamics is probably my favorite. In Trash Trek, our team did really bad and we didn't even make it to state. Yeah, so not my favorite year. And here's a little clip of our Trash Trek robot game. In Animal Allies, our team did much better than we did in Trash Trek, but we still did not have a very good robot game and we did not do very good at state. And here's a short clip of our Animal Allies qualifier robot game. My favorite season by far is definitely Hydrodynamics and here's why. Yeah, so now you can see why Hydrodynamics is one of my favorite seasons because it was the season that we did the best in a robot game and that was really my favorite part of FLL. Anyhow, let's go on to the next question. <laughs> asks, how much time should a student dedicate to robotics weekly? Our team meets about once every week and we work on our core values robot game and project for about four hours each week. But yeah, that's just our team. I'd say if you'd like to go to Worlds and do very good at Worlds, you'd probably work on your robot slash core values slash project seven hours a week with your team. Yeah, so it all really depends on what competition you're going to next and how you would like to do at that competition, but it's really up to you. I'd suggest at least four to five hours a week on your robot game core values and project. Anyways, on to the next question. Benjamin Wartheim asks, how much time do you spend working on the robot weekly? Yeah, so if you count everything that I do that involves my robot, like editing videos, programming, and building, it will be around probably 8 to 12 hours uh, per week. So yeah, on to the next question. Stanley Shu asks, what does your room and current EB3 projects look like? Well, here's my room. I have a table for building over here, some EB3 kits, half broken Millennium Falcon, hydrodynamics robots, and attachments. Lego storage and cameras under the table. Bookshelf with a bunch of books. And that's my sister's room. Another shelf with, with a bunch of games on it and more books. And here's a dresser my FLL hat that I wear at competitions, got some trophies, 
iPad. Yeah, so that's my room. This is a robot that I am currently working on. It was also the robot that I used in the Hydrodynamic Secret Missions. And here are a few attachments that I am working on for this robot to accomplish some of the Hydrodynamics board. I am also working on a huge set of gyro programs to make my robot more accurate. Frosty asks, are you on a school team? So the answer to that would be no. We are a team of homeschoolers. We have six team members, ages 11 to 14, and mentor a junior FLL team called the Junior A Heart Ravens. Prem Pankar asks, our team had a difficult time overcoming the placement of the FLL mat, which reduced the reliability of our robot doing the missions. How did your team overcome this? Here's a short list of the things that we did to make our robot more reliable and to rely less on the placement of the FLL mat. Michael Tunzin asks, did you make it to Worlds? Take a picture of all your trophies. To answer your question about making it to Worlds, our team has not made it to Worlds in the three seasons that we have competed in. On Animal Allies, we made it to State, and at Hydrodynamics, we made it to State as well, but we have not qualified for a World Festival. As for the trophies, I only have one photo, and I'm very sorry about that. Here is the one photo that was taken after a hydrodynamics qualifier. Alright, but that is going to wrap it up for the 500 subscriber Q&A video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.